We all know that looking directly at the sun is bad for our eyes, but the blackout associated with a solar eclipse can pull people into a false sense of security. It's hard to look at the sun on a normal day because it's so bright, but during an eclipse the shade created by the moon passing in front of the sun makes it easier. But don't be fooled. Looking at the sun even during an eclipse can cause permanent eye damage. Cameras don't have retinas to get damaged by the sun's rays. So it's okay for them to point towards the eclipse, but photographers need to be careful when lining up shots. So how can you take photos of the solar eclipse safely? Here's our handy guide. Don't look directly at the eclipse. You won't know if you're damaging your eyes until it's too late. You might be able to look at the sun with no pain, but a few days later you'll notice. The sun can burn a dot in the central part of your retina and give you an afterimage. This makes it very difficult to look at things. Wear safety glasses. Good solar eclipse glasses filter out all of the harmful ultraviolet and infrared light and almost all of the intense visible light to allow you to view the eclipse safely. You need to look for CE approved glasses. If you can't find them, don't rely on regular sunglasses. They won't necessarily protect you. Instead, it's worth looking at other techniques, such as pinhole projection. Watch the eclipse through your smartphone or digital camera screen. Be extremely careful if you are trying to hold the camera up to the sun. The rays will still fry your eyes as you try to line up the shot again. Wear protective glasses to set up the shot. Once you're wearing your safety glasses, it's okay to look at the eclipse through your smartphone or digital camera screen. But it's still not a good idea to look through any kind of telephoto lens or binoculars. If your digital camera has a screen that can be pulled out at an angle, like this Nikon, then you can set the camera up pointing at the sun while viewing the frame safely on the screen at 90 degrees to it. Be careful with selfies. Everyone loves a selfie. But there's no point getting that perfect Instagram shot at the cost of your retina. On the whole, trying to take a selfie with the eclipse in the background will mean you'll have your face turned away from the sun, which is great. Just make sure you're protected for if you're trying to glance back over your shoulder. Think more creatively about capturing the eclipse if you've got just a smartphone camera. You're not going to get that iconic full-frame eclipse shot. So why not think about a more creative approach, such as a time-lapse of a landscape of cityscape or even a portrait of someone using the eerie light. Here's our guide to taking good eclipse photos using your smartphone. And if you end up with a cloudy day, you can always watch the eclipse in the mirror's live video stream.